Well, season is finally getting rolling now that the weather has made it possible. Yeah, and one of the teams to watch out for made some changes in the offseason, but still has found a way to dominate. Fox 56 Sports Director Bob Ide gives us a look at the Valley View Cougars. It's not often a team wins a district championship and a new coach is appointed in the offseason. But that's what happened at Valley View, where longtime softball manager E.J. Weston stepped down and was replaced by a former Cougar player and University of Scranton manager, Mia Wascura. My approach is positivity. We flush the negatives, we celebrate the positives. Um, the girls are 100% buy-in. They respect me and our coaching staff respects them. It's, it's really meshing well. The culture of Valley View Cougar softball is, is fantastic. It's at a high right now and I could not be more delighted and excited for them. She's really uplifting and she supports every single one of us and I feel like that's what you need in a coach. But we're just very confident and we take every game one day at a time and we just push through and get the win. With a smooth transition, the Cougars have responded in the start of the season going 11-1. They have a great combination of talent that can give opponents fits defensively. There's no, like, um, one through nine, they're just numbers. Mm -hmm. We're all hitting really well, and there's no weak spot in our lineup. We all just do our own thing, mm -hmm. and I feel like every single one of us could bunt, slap, hit, anything, and I just feel like it works well. On the hill, a lethal combination of Tessa Stafersky and Abby Call have powered their way through opponents. The senior Stafersky has a low ERA of just one run per game. Mostly my curveball and my changeup. Mm -hmm. Those are my two favorite pitches, and when they're working, it's just it's really good for me. <laughs> How do you think you're pitching right now? I think I'm pitching really well. Mm -hmm. um, it was a rough start mm -hmm. <laughs> into the season, but I feel like I'm getting better as I go. I mean, I, I feel confident with either one. Tessa brings the spin ball pitches, um, you know, gets them out of their shoes, and Abby is straight fire with um, different fastballs and speed pitches. Um, I love the fact that I could utilize either one at any time. Last season, Valley View stopped the two-year run of Tonkanic winning the District 2 4A championship. They went on to lose in the first round of the state playoffs. This year, they're searching for more. We're just going to keep doing what we're doing now and just uh, keep moving forward. Just take every game as we are, play every game um, as well as we're doing now. Just when we get there, we get there. Well, how have you been motivated by the loss in states and what did you guys do in the off season? Uh, we trained a lot. We started um, conditioning in November and we want to work very hard to achieve our goal in the states. Bob Eide, Fox 56 Sports. Valley View will get back on the field tomorrow when they host North Pocono.